AI is not taking any jobs in manufacturing. I know some people out there have to worry about AI, and, and I get that. I'm using ChatGPT right now as my doctor. I'm like, am I doing okay? You know, I use ChatGPT to ask a ton of questions. It's taking jobs, don't get me wrong. And I think there is a fear out there of, of what it might do. However, in manufacturing, we still need people. We will always need people. We need the welders. We need the electricians. We need the plumbers. And currently right now in manufacturing, it is known, factually known, which we're trying to fix, of course, but factually known that there's a two to three million person skills gap and labor shortage. Think about that. If we have that many people missing, AI is actually a complement to manufacturing. It's not taking jobs. In fact, what can happen now is that one really great person that you have on your shop floor because you're limited and getting the, the 20 people like we used to be able to get, that one person can now do more and make more. That one person, thanks to AI, thanks to automation, can now run an entire cell of five, 10, 15 machines and run them 24 seven. Go home to their house, enjoy their family instead of having being stuck at the shop. Look at their phone to make sure everything's running okay through machine monitoring AI and go, yep, everything's good. I can keep eating dinner and go throw the ball with my son or go throw the ball with my daughter and hang out more. AI is not taking anybody's job as a manufacturer. It's actually very exciting to participate in because that skills gap and labor shortage just might be supported by this type of technology.